back in each other's arm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am here to tell you that soon your prodigal will return. That soon your prodigal will return. And before you know it, he or she will be back in your arms of love. That soon you two will be dancing, singing, and joyfully in each other's arm and joyfully praise the Lord. I am here to tell you that soon your loved one will return to you. And this time when they return to you, it will be forever. They will never walk away from you again. They will never leave you ever again. Because they, have, they now have learned the lessons of life, the lessons of love because of the pain, painful toy they have to go through in order to, to find out, in order to know exactly what they want in life and who they want to be with. And they have come to realization that you are the one for them and there is no one else. They have now realized that you are that masterpiece, that you are the one that they can't live without. And so, get ready, ladies and gentlemen, for your prodigal male and female will come back to you soon. Soon. I don't know how soon, but all I know is soon. That's what I feel in the spirit. So I'm speaking this to myself too. Okay. I know soon it will happen to me as well, not just to some of the viewer. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen, prepare your heart. Prepare your heart. It doesn't matter what happened. Remember, love covers multitudes of sins. Remember God's word. Okay. We need to forgive at all costs. We need to forgive at all costs. What else? Um, okay, let me get into the dream. On Monday 14 December 2020, which is last year, God gave me four dreams he showed me. And one of them I want to share to you is that back in each other's arm. Okay, and here is the dream. In the spirit realm, God opened my spiritual eyes to see. Okay, it's like a movie was playing before my eyes, before me. And there I look and I saw my, a picture of my prodigal male were walking towards me. Okay, imagine me watching a movie, that's how it play like. Okay, and the next things I know, we were holding each other. The next things I know, we were in each other's arm, holding each other so closely to our heart and there we were dancing so peacefully so joyfully so happily and we were so happy to be back in each other's arms dancing on the kitchen floor of course <laughs> it should be at the wedding floor right but it's at the kitchen floor at where i live and so and there i said to him in the spirit in the dream i said to him i miss you do you miss me and he looked at me in the eyes and replied a little bit and then at the back of my head i would say like yeah right a little bit liar and that was the end of the dream okay and this is what the dreams mean this is what the dreams mean the dreams mean that soon me and my prodigal will be back in each other's arm Okay, soon we will be back in each other's arm of love. And this time, it will be forever. He will never walk away from me again. He will never leave me again. Never, never. Because he have learned to love. Because of the things that go on in his life on the other side have teach him that his life will not be complete without me. He had realized that he loved me more than anything in this world. But in saying that, he should love Christ before me, right? Of course, Christ always before anything else. And so what this dream God is telling us is that soon our prodigal male or female will return back into our arms of love. 
Soon we will be dancing in each other's arm. Soon we will be in love forever and for all eternity. Amen. So, get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare your heart, for soon our prodigal male or female will come back to us, and soon we will be dancing in each other's arm. Soon we will be holding each other in each other's arm, and soon this love story, this God's love story, will continue for the rest of our life and the generation to come. And God will alone receive the glory, because this is God' love story written before us. And remember to forgive at all costs. It doesn't matter what's lost. It doesn't matter what's going on there in his life. We need to forgive. We need to forgive as Christ forgave us. As Christ forgave us. Sorry. Okay, we are the children of light. We are the children of mercy. We must continue to show mercy and to show love. And remember that this time, when they come back to us, because we are their last hope. We are their last hope. We are the only hope for them, and that is why they come back to us. That is why they bear that shame. That is why I saw my prodigal's car parking outside. He was standing there, hesitate to go in, because he feel ashamed of what he has done to us, and he feel guilty. He or she feel guilty because of what they did to us. They have learned that. They have come to acknowledge that they have hurt us so much that word cannot describe it. That only the heart alone can understand it, but remember, love cover multitude of sins. Remember God's word, so we need to forgive. And forget, and start again. And this time, this love story, back in each other's arm, will be as pure as gold. Will be as blue as the sky. Like. Bethlehem Sky. Thank you for watching. I hope you are blessed. God bless everyone. Amen.